All right, so as we know, it is on, it is official. Anthony Joshua once again meets his nemesis, Dillian White, in the square circle, August 12th, in about six, seven weeks at the O2 Arena. Um, This will be the third fight. I think they fought once as amateurs, and this will be their second fight as professionals. But before I go on and give my opinion on what I think, I can give my insight into how I think this fight might go. Please subscribe, hit the like button, and do not forget to come back for more content in the future. Now, for me personally, this fight is a case of why. Why are we having this fight? This is something I do not think a lot of boxing enthusiasts are eager to see. We already know the result. What's going to happen? Anthony Joshua is going to batter him around and knock him out again. Like the first time. Dillian White is done, even done worse than Anthony Joshua. And he's in a more precarious situation because we already see that uh, he is battle-worn. Those fights with Chisora, the fights with Povetkin, and the fights with the fight with uh, Tyson Fury have actually clearly taken a toll on him physically. You already see when he talks, he slurs his words. And one of the, the, I think for me, the main reason I was not too enthusiastic about this fight was, and again, this might have been Eddie Hearn just trying to promote the fight, and it might have been in agreement with Dillian White's camp to put out this information. But one of the reasons I was not too enthused about this fight was I was not prepared to go through the whole Dillian White is not going to promote the fight stick that we had with Tyson Fury. Now, with Tyson Fury, I rightfully agreed that because of the low percentage that Tyson and Lobo offer that Tyson Fury, Frank Warren, and Queensberry gave to Dillian White, he had every right to basically not comply. Um, but in this case, the moment Eddie Hearn said, oh, uh, uh, Dillian White is not going to, is refusing to promote the fight, I just really had no interest in it. But in any event, the fight is on now. They're going to battle it out. I do not see how this is going to be a confidence booster for Anthony Joshua in preparation for December against Wilder. A lot of people are like, well, if he does good against White and knocks him out in spectacular fashion, then it might boost his confidence. I really don't see how that's going to happen. As you're going into a fight with someone you know, is not on your level. He's just coming in there emotionally. And I think at this point, Dylan White is just doing the smart thing. He's just cashing out. He knows it's almost time up for him as a pro. And he's just going in there getting as much money as he can from Tyson Fury, from Anthony Joshua. And hopefully he doesn't go in against Wilder because not only is he not going to get paid, he's just going to get probably decapitated. So six years ago, yes, I would have said, put him in against Wilder, and I think he would have had a shot. After that last uppercut he got from Tyson Fury and the, the small performance against Jermaine Franklin, it'll be suicide time if he dares goes in against uh, Wilder. So let's see what happens. It's going to be in about six, seven weeks. We don't know what happens between now and then. Anybody could get injured. Anybody could start having issues in their lives. But I think Anthony Joshua decimates him spectacular fashion quicker than the first time. Tippy toe, pigeon toe, Dylan White just comes in there, does his usual bambi, bambi leg walk around, and Anthony Joshua just knocks him out. Now, will this be a confidence booster? Well, that's all in his head. That's all up to Anthony, but I do not think this fight will lend any credence to the work he's been doing with uh, Derek James. But we never know. Let's see. With those two, it's always fireworks. We, we'll know from the time they start having the face-offs, though, uh, what we should be expecting. But in any event, click the like button, subscribe, and until next time, take care.